Hey Planner Fam, it's Chloe here. Welcome to today's video where I'm gonna be sharing how I got on with my recent downsizing from my Motem A5 to a Filofax personal size. Now, it's not because I'm changing planners, it's purely because the kids had a week off school and more importantly, I had a couple of trips during that week. They were just short trips, but I didn't want to have to lug my heavy Moterm A5 around with me. It would have just taken up a bunch of space in my overnight bag. So I bravely tried personal size for the first time. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna share how I got on. I've got it all set up on my desk ready to share. And hopefully some of the things that I did will help others who need to downsize. So do watch along and see if you can get any hints or tips that will help you and stick along to the end because I've got some, I want to say exciting, yeah, I'm gonna say exciting news to share with you guys that I hope you're going to join me on this little thing that I want to try out. So let's dive into today's video. Hey, so welcome to my overhead view. Here we are at my desk. I've got my planners. This is my Motem. It's a Motem Lux. Uh, 2.0 with the 30 millimeter rings. This is the Pebble Dusty Rose. And as I said before, it is quite large and quite weighty and it was gonna take up way too much space in my overnight bag. So I downsized from this to this, which is the Filofax Safiano Compact Organizer in uh, the, I think this color is called Graphite. And I just love how compact this planner is. It has, as I said before, 19 millimeter rings, so super dinky. And I just paired everything back. I've gone with this very calming, very neutral, gray on gray, on beige and brown kind of theme in here. My pen is a uni pin 0.1 and the color is sepia. If we can get that to focus. And I just really loved how this brown tone worked with the, the gray theme. And because my week was gonna be a lot of traveling back and forth and a lot of busyness, I just really wanted my planner to be like this sanctuary that was paired back, not cluttered, and just really easy going. So I didn't stuff it with a whole bunch of inserts. I decided that after my dashboards, just to add that decorative, just a touch of a decorative element, very editorial style uh, dashboard, that I would only include my yearly inserts and my, let's get to it my doo -doo 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 -doo, weekly inserts. And the reason for this, although I didn't fill out all of the, the yearly inserts, I only started from the week that I was gonna be away and onwards, I wanted to be able to uh, pre-plan anything if I needed, or if someone contacted me with a date for something or I needed to make an appointment for something, I wanted to be able to still do that and have um, some sort of reference point to be able to say yes or no to things. So that's why I included my, uh, I say yearly, it's actually a month on two pages. So that's in here for the entire year. And I'm gonna leave this in here so that if I ever need to downsize again, it is to hand. Then as I said, I've got my weekly inserts. So I do weekly planning. I'm not a daily planner because my days aren't that busy. So I just needed weekly inserts for the week that I was away. Now I say that this is a week on two, but actually it's a week on one page on the right hand page. And then on the left hand page, it's more of a kind of productivity tool where I've got room for my daily gratitude. So a line a day for my daily gratitude. I've got my habit trackers down here so I can tick off that I'm doing my morning pages, my daily devo, that I'm taking my iron and flossing and that I'm doing my best to keep up with some sort of fitness routine. I've got my water intake to make sure that I am keeping hydrated. And if there's days say here on the Thursday where I lacked hydration, I can make sure 
sure I really seriously rehydrate the following couple of days. So yeah, it gives me a bit of a bird's eye view. Also, because my trips were kind of spaced out, there were times when I was going to be at home. So I did still need to have a bit of a menu plan. So that's what I've got going on here, as well as a little list of reminders of things that I needed to get done for the following week when the kids went back to school. On the weekly insert, I just used these little date dots, which I got from uh, Paper Terry. She's a UK seller. I found her on Etsy, as well as these um, big dots, I think they're called. So these are the ones that I use, the big, dro big drops, get naked in rose beige. And these are from, you probably can't see down here, but these are from Colour Cafe, another UK based shop that I found on Etsy. Um, I just really liked having these dew drop stickers to highlight in some of the important dates where I had things going on. So certain trips that I wanted to do or just important things that I needed to remember. So that's how I've got this one set up. And as you can see, I think the sepia color pen worked really well in this planner and I used, let's just go in here. Oh, it was already unzipped. Isn't this pencil case super cute? I found this on Amazon UK as well. I'll pop links to everything down below, but look how nicely organized you can keep everything. And I like that it expands as well. So I was able to take this with me when I was traveling. It didn't take up too much space. And like the whole aesthetic guys, oh, draw worthy, very calming, very neutral. So anyway, back to the point of the pencil case bit. Um, I was using a Tombow, so it's gonna focus, a Tombow 942 as my highlighter. Um, really loved this again just for adding these pops of highlighting without it being too glaring and gaudy <laughs> I do like things to be like not gaudy but I do like a bit of color which is why I've probably gravitated towards the mild liners first because I just felt like they had really um, exciting, vibrant colours. And then I know that you can get vibrant colours in the Tombows as well, but I just felt like with the Tombow, maybe going a bit more neutral and uh, restrained would be good. So that's, that's that deal there. Now, this was just meant to be for a week, this downsizing, but I did stick in it for <laughs> the following week because when I came back from all of that um, trips, I hadn't actually got inserts printed out in here and I had already printed out an, a spare week in this planner because I thought, well, let me just print out two weeks. So if I need to travel again, I've got it to hand. But I actually stayed in it for another week and I just like really appreciated this setup of easing myself back into the working week. I also included, so I did say I kept it super compact with just my month's for a year and a couple of weeklies, but I did include these list inserts as well. So these are packing lists so I can remember to bring everything that I'm going to need. And then for one of my trips, I was actually staying away in a hotel and I wanted to pre-plan my outfits for those two days because I really did not want to overpack at all. So I thought, let me just do a bit of a pre-plan on the first trip where I was going to visit my mum. I just thought, well, let me figure out what I can wear on the Friday and the Saturday. And then at least that keeps life really organized. On the Friday night, we'd booked a meal. So I wanted to make sure I had something nice to wear that wasn't going to take up a bunch of stuff in my, my overnight bag. So yeah, I found these list inserts really handy. I also used it the following week just for doing my to-dos and my like a bit of pre-planning of what I wanted to achieve on one of the days. And then I did have some notes pages in here, but as you can see, I didn't actually use them. And then at the back, I've just got some spare uh, monthlies and weeklies. These are a slightly different design, which I might include as a freebie. Um, as part of my freebie bundle, yeah, I'll pop a link below. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get around to doing this or not. These are an a, a personal size version of the A5 freebie. So I'll try and get these out to you guys as well if you are interested, but these aren't what I used. I actually used 
rather than a week on just a week on one and just a uh, a month on one I actually had a bit more going on so these are all available in my shop I'll pop links below so that is the flip now although I did really enjoy using this planner I am um, I'm gonna go back to my motor I'm sorry sorry not sorry I just love this planner I love having all of my um my habit trackers my period tracker my projects like and at the space as well so I am going to get this set up for this week and I'm going to love being back in this planner but I am going to keep this ready to go in case I have another uh, couple of trips or things like this where I just need something lightweight and compact to chuck into an overnight bag. Now I promised I had some exciting news so those of you that have stuck through to the end Ooh, let's flip the camera back on me so we can talk face to face and I can share something that I think is exciting. I'd like to do a co-working plan with me time on a Sunday afternoon slash Sunday evening, potentially go live on YouTube. I don't know, that makes me feel so nervous. Or it might be pre-recorded and then I'm setting it as a premiere so that I can be live in the chat with you guys. But I want to create this co-working space where we can plan together. And it's not so much a, a video of me laying down my stickers and telling you about my appointment and my dog needing this. And not that I have a dog, we have rabbits. So my rabbits needing jabs or my kids having a play or a play day or a school thing or whatever it is I want it to be less about you seeing my week and more about a time for us to come together and cheer each other on I feel like the biggest thing around developing a planning routine is sticking with it on those days when your energy is low and you just don't feel like it or life as it inevitably does throws you a bunch of challenges. I can certainly attest to that. My past couple of weeks have been challenge after challenge after challenge of things that have just left me wanting to tear my hair out. And it's not necessarily like group therapy, although that'd be nice, but it's more um, coming together and just cheering each other on. So when you're having those days where your energy is low and you really don't feel like planning because you're like, I'm not doing all of the things, I'm not achieving all of the things, there can be a little nurturing group who can just be like, yeah, you, you drank eight glasses of water and you got eight hours of sleep. You did so, so well considering everything. Just cheering you on to do that. Or when your energy is high and you are on top of the world and everything is just like, yeah, bring it on. I've got all of these goals that I'm going to smash this week. And you just want like a group where we're all cheering you on and saying, yeah, let's review. How did you do? How did it go? What did you achieve? What were your wins? What did you learn? All of that kind of stuff. I want it to be something like that. Now I have just, oh my goodness, I have just declared that on the World Wide Web. So that feels like a big, a big deal. A big deal. That is a big deal. I want to challenge myself to do it for 52 weeks. I want to inspire you guys with a word for the week and we can maybe have a bit of a, almost like a, a meditation for the week on that. I don't know. I don't know. Like it is just this opportunity to be playful and explore and experiment. So, you know, I'm making this declaration, but Mama's not too proud to, you know, make fine tuning adjustments where needed. So let's just see how this goes, guys. Again, I will pop links below if you want to know more, if you want to get on my um, mailing list so you can know when it's going to be happening, what time, whether it's going to be live or whether it's going to be a premiere. And guys, please consider subscribing. So again, you'll be up to date when these things are happening. If you don't want your email box cluttered up, I totally understand that. I recently unsubscribed from a bunch of things where I'm just like, this is distraction. It's something I have to delete at the end of the week when I do my inbox zero, or at least attempt an inbox zero. So if you don't want to be on the mailing list, that's totally cool. But do subscribe, put on the bell so that you get notified. And that way we can like keep in contact as it were. So like, am I being a mad woman? 
<laughs> with this idea, like, God's put this on my heart, I think, or at least that's my prayer that God, I'm hoping this is from you because I think it could be really beneficial. So let's support each other. Let's do this co-working plan with me and let's just see how it goes. Yeah, that's all I can say. So until next time, mama, bye for now. Mwah, 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 mwah. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye, bye.